The debate over whether or not the DNX nearly a thousand acres of farmland in Summerfield will last at least one more day on the House floor. The second reading of House Bill 909 passed 67 to 46, and now it needs to be read again tomorrow. If passed that time, it'll become law. The de-annexation will move forward. Now that land owned by developer David Couch has been a source of a lot of controversy in the small town that wants to stay a small town. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro joins us here in the studio tonight. Cassie, the local representatives seem to side with the locals and the out-of-towners weren't as understanding. Well, Katie and Michael, two representatives went as far as questioning whether or not Summerfield should even be chartered as a town anymore, calling it a paper town. And that's basically a town labeled on a map that's essentially not a real town at all. The de-annexation has been a hot topic for a whole host of reasons, including the plans right. for the land, including a multi-use development for housing and businesses. With a population of 11,000 people who live in the community for its rural nature feel, adding thousands more, it would change the fabric of the town. Couch has also donated to local politicians, and some question if the proximity of his land to a potential casino development in nearby Rockingham County has pushed this whole thing forward, leading to more back and forth on the House floor. This is a very good example of a, a badly behaving community, and I hope you'll support the bill. I urge you to vote no, and I'm sorry that there are other good provisions in this bill, but this is a poison pill. And even with all of that, the bill is expected to pass tomorrow upon the third reading coming up at 11. Hear more. Several, leader, several state leaders saying this issue should never have been on the House floor at all. Michael. Thank you. Winston